thank you so much for joining me today for another video. I'm so excited to see you here again. And I wanted to tell you guys that I have four beautiful, fluffy, and amazing looking lashes that I came across in the drugstore the other day. And I had to try them out. And I figured if I'm going to try new lashes out, might as well try them out with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing how these beautiful, fluffy, an amazing looking lashes look on me and just my thoughts on it overall then just keep on watching and by the way if you are new welcome 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 I'm so excited that you're here my name is Jane also known as breath of beauty and I'm so happy that you found me somehow <laughs> okay so I'm so eager to try these lashes out now so let's just jump right on ahead The first time I laid my eyes on these beauties was actually at a local Walgreens and I was so blown away by how fluffy and amazingly wispy they look. Super voluminous too, like look at that, that is crazy voluminous. So when I saw these, these really reminded me of one of my favorite pairs of lashes by Eyelure, or actually like lash line, I guess. <laughs> it's the Eyelure Lux Mink Effect Lashes. And if you've seen my other makeup videos, chances are you've seen me wear these faux mink lashes that are drugstore priced, but it almost seems like the real deal. These kids lashes are actually cheaper than those Eyelure Lux mink effect lashes it's a long name but usually the eyelier faux mink lashes are like anywhere from i want to say like 10 to 13 dollars depending on where you buy it and these kiss lashes are probably like six to eight dollars now the styles i got are called midnight hitch gala and Teddy. And just to clarify, three of these are Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection Lashes, and one of this is a Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection. So I guess this is like the ultra beefy version of the lash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pop them on one by one and see how we like it. And I won't be showing you guys how I exactly apply them because I already have a video on how I apply my false lashes and I'll link a card up here. Is it up here or is it up here? I think it's up here. <laughs> Anyways, there's gonna be a card linked right there. So if you're curious about how I go ahead and apply my false lashes, then go ahead and click that. And I'll still be here waiting for you, so don't you worry. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is in the style Midnight, and honestly, I'm not a huge fan because it just feels so heavy, and though it is wispy and really soft and fluffy, it is just not my type of lash. I don't know, I just think it covers up too much of my lid. You can barely see any of the shadow work that I did unless I'm like going like this, but I'm not gonna be walking around like this all the time. <laughs> though it's really pretty, I don't really see myself wearing this a lot unless I'm going for a super duper dramatic kind of look and obviously if it's named midnight chances are it's supposed to be like really dramatic and dark and voluminous and quite va va vu so this is what midnight looks like on my eyes currently my first impression is that it's a bit too heavy shing, shing, shing. this is the second lash style this is the uh brain fart <laughs> this is the style called teddy and this is the triple push-up style uh still in the lash couture faux mink collection but this is like the triple push-up so I mean, visibly, it is very, very dramatic, but contrary to the previous lash that I tried called Midnight, this actually like really opens up my eyes, doesn't it? I feel like the lash style just curves up so much that it really like just, I'm wide-eyed, bushy-tailed. That's exactly what I look like. And though it's a bit on the dramatic side, uh, not a bit, it's really on the dramatic side. Um, I really feel like I love how fluffy it looks. I'm not sure how I like 
this kind of spiky feel. The lash strands actually like crisscross throughout the length of the lashes. And so it kind of creates like a very voluminous yet very lifted and super fluffy kind of effect. I don't know, I feel like this is a fun lash to wear. If I really want my eyes to look really wide open, then these are the lashes to pick for sure. I don't know why, but this eye is acting up. Can't control it though. So this lash style is called Pitch, and this is what it looks like on my eyes. It looks like there's a lot of emphasis of volume near the lash line, so it looks like really thick and voluminous and dark, kind of like closer to the lash line, but then you have like wisps of longer strands of lashes just kind of poke through a little bit here and there sparsely. And I don't know how I feel about this lash. Currently, I'm not like a huge fan of it because I don't know, it's kind of weird to have this like dense short lash close to the lash line and then have like just a little bit of wispy long strands of lashes and I don't know I'm not really a fan of it right now my first impression is that it doesn't really do much for my eyes I would rather have all the strands be like longer and wispy instead of have like a dense lash line and here is the final style of lashes it is called gala and I don't know you guys, this is kind of the same deal as the first pair of lashes that I tried. It's just a bit too heavy, bit too dark, bit too uh, dense for my taste. I usually like lashes that are a little more wispy, that kind of curve upwards to the heaven. And uh, yeah, just not something that would weigh my eyes down. And this is honestly, kind of weighing my eyes down a little bit. I feel like this would be good for like a super duper glamorous look, you know, where I'm really trying to play up like the old Hollywood type lash. Nevertheless, the quality is again, very amazing, very, very fluffy, soft, super, super dense. And I am so surprised you guys, this does not feel cheap it does not feel like drugstore i just can't believe that this was like seven or eight dollars that's really affordable for a lash this quality and i keep repeating that because it's basically the take-home message for this entire video is that these drugstore priced lashes are giving you basically the same quality as mink lashes for the fraction of the price you would normally pay for mink lashes drugstore brands are coming out with better and better quality products where it's really pretty much competing at the higher end quality level and this is very comparable to like any of the velour lashes that I have that are like well over $25 like some are even $35 or $45 you know and this is like seven eight dollars like I said before so I'm really determined from now on not to spend money on super duper expensive lashes and I'm just gonna go for a drugstore because they give you basically the same effect for the fraction of the price and I am all about that like I do not want to spend unnecessary money so that's pretty much the last uh, pair of lashes that I am just demoing for you guys I don't know what you guys think I will be linking all of the lashes that I've tried down in the description box below if you ever wanted to check any of them out for yourself but uh, yeah that's pretty much the end of it I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the lashes and how they look on my eyes in particular and hopefully you found it helpful with that I want to say that you are beautiful amazing and marvelous no matter what anybody else tries to tell you no matter what thoughts creep into your head just remember that anything else that makes you feel not beautiful is a lie and you need to believe that you're incredibly valued precious and loved and that is is the truth and of course as always I'm so grateful to have you be a part of my wonderful beauty fam and I'm so appreciative of you and all the encouragement and support that you give me so thank you thank you thank you so much with that hopefully I'll see you in my next one bye